kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, and in this will be the part four of my video series on WhatsApp status saver using Android Studio. Alright, guys. So, in this video, I am going to uh, uh, write the code for the fragments. So, first of all. without wasting any time let's go to image fragment so inside this image fragment we will be displaying all the images so for displaying all the images here what we are going to do is first of all we are going to uh, change this constant layout to relative layout and after this we are now we need the circular view here so for this we can say this circular view and let me see if we already have the circular view here or not okay so we don't have the circular view here but i think we don't need the circular view so let's say let me just write here we have this recycler view so we will add it and also we will be requiring the card view so for that we can simply say card view all right so now we have this recycler view and also the card view so first of all we can use the recycler view and it will be match parent and its height will also be the match parent and then we set the id it to be uh, recycler view image and after this we also need a progress bar so when the status are loading so we need to display the progress bar so we can say progress bar wrap content wrap content and if we want to set it to uh, the center then we can simply say center in parent to true then we set the id it to be progress bar all right so now we need to go to our image fragment and similarly for our uh, main activity we can simply bind the view so we can simply say r dot id dot circular view image then we can say the circular view and then we also need to bind the progress bar so we can say r dot id dot progress bar and let's make sure that it is the it is the different from the video fragment so we just say progress bar image and we need to change here from here also and here inside our own view created method first of all let's initialize the button knife so we can say button knife dot bind this and here we also need to pass the view because view is the fragment uh, so we need to pass this view so after this first of all let's have some variables so here inside this util so you can create a new class and here we can write my constants all right so these will be the constants so first of all we can say public static final string and the name will be directory and it will be equal to environment dot get external storage directory plus and we need uh okay so it will be like equal to it will be of type uh file so we can say public static uh, final file and it will be status 
directory and it will be equal to new file and inside this we can say environment dot get external storage directory plus then we can say file dot separator and plus we can now say whatsapp slash media slash dot statuses all right so all the statuses are saved inside this whatsapps and inside the whatsapp folder then we have the media and then the statuses okay so this one will be the status directory and then we need the app directory also so for this we can simply say public static final string and we can say app directory and it will be equal to environment dot get external uh, storage directory plus file dot separator and it will be let's say here plus whatsapp status pro directory okay so this will be the directory of all the whatsapp status and then we also need to uh, set the maximum size for the thumbnail so it will be 128 so for that we can simply say public static final int thumb size it will be 128 okay so i think all the we have all this so after this inside our own view created method we are first of all going to initialize our progress bar i mean the progress okay so we don't need the progress dialog here so first of all we will set up a recycler view so we can simply say recycler view dot set has fixed size it will be true then we will have recycler view dot set layout manager okay so now here we have two uh, options first of all we have the grid layout manager and then we have the linear layout manager so since we are going to show uh, three images uh, on this on a, in a row so we need to use the grid layout manager so here we can simply say new grid layout manager and there we will pass our get activity and we need to pass number of objects so here we can say spam count will be three and finally we can uh, write a method that will fetch all the status and then we will update our recycler view so for this what we are going to use is we can say get status okay and now we need to create this method so we can say private void get status okay and inside this uh, get recycler uh, get status method now we are going to say if my constants dot status directory and if it exists so we can say new thread and here we need to uh, write all the code inside our new thread so inside this thread we are going to use okay so now we need to we need to fetch all the files from our status so for that we are now need to use a file array so we can simply say file array uh, status files equal to uh, my constant dot status directory dot list files okay so it will list all the files and it will store them inside our file array and then we need to use an array list of type uh, image model so for this we need to use the array list and for this uh, we need to use the status model all right so now we need to uh, create a new package here and it will be the models and inside this model we need to write a new java class and here we can write status model 
and here first of all we will have some uh, a couple of variables so first of all we will have private static final string and it will be mp4 and it will be dot mp4 then we will have private final file then we will have private bitmap thumbnail then we will have private final string title and the path and finally we can uh, also have a boolean that will uh, tell us whether the status is uh, either image or a video so for this we can simply say private boolean is video so if the is video is true then it means that it is a video else it will be we will consider it as an image so here we need to now uh, create an a, a constructor constructor so click on generate and click on constructor and then we will have click ok all right there we have this file then we have the title and the path so after this we can also say this dot is video and it will say file dot get name dot and with and here we can pass our mp4 okay so if it ends with mp4 then it will be the video is video will be uh, true so here after this we, we now need to use the set and get method so for this we can generate getter and uh, setter so for this we can simply say file thumbnail image and path okay so now we have all the getters and uh, setters so now we our status model is complete so now we can have an array list of type status model status mo or we can say image model array list okay then we can simply initialize it equal to new array list and after this here after we uh, store all the files in our file array so what we are going to do is now we need to check if the status file is not empty and its length is equal to and uh, for example its length is greater than zero so for that we can check if status files is not equal to null and status files dot length is greater than zero so here we can okay so now we need to uh, sort our array so here we can say arrays dot sort and inside this first of all we are now need to f uh, write the our status files and then also we need to use the last modified comparator alright so now we can create it and for this uh, I think we don't uh, need this so let's just remove it and after this now we can use the for loop then we can store them inside our status model and then we just add it to our array list so for this we can say for final file status file and status files and there we can say status model status model equal to new status model and there we can pass our status file then we can pass the status file dot get name 
then we can say status file dot get absolute path okay so now we have this uh, status model so here we can uh, we need to get the thumbnail so for the thumbnail we first of all can say status model dot set thumbnail and there we can write a method get uh, thumbnail and we need to pass our status model here all right and there we can now create the method get thumbnail and this method will fetch the thumbnail so for this let me write the code for here okay so now we here we can check if status uh, status model dot is video so if it is a video then we need to fetch the thumbnail from and uh, from the method of the video and if it is an image so we do the other thing so for this here we can simply okay so i think we need the static uh, okay so here we will return thumbnail utils dot create video thumbnail and here it requires the uh, the path of the video so here we can simply get it from star status model so we can say dot status model dot get file dot get absolute path and then here we can say bitmap factory dot decode file and here we can say status model dot get file dot get absolute path and then we say the thumb size and it will be we can say my constant dot thumb size and my constant dot thumb size okay so yes we don't need this all these things i think so just remove it and after we get this uh, the file path then we can simply say media store dot video dot thumbnails and dot micro kind all right but inside this else part for the video images we need to return thumbnail utils dot extract thumbnail then it requires to decode our bitmap so we can say bitmap factory dot decode file and inside this we can say status dot get file dot get absolute path and then we can say thumb my constant dot thumb size and also it says my constant dot thumb size all right so this is the this is the function to get the thumbnail of the videos and the images so after this now we check it if it is not a video then we add it to our array list so here we can check if status model dot is video is false then we just add it so we can say image model array list dot add and here we can add our status model then after this for loop we can simply set our adapter so for this we what we can do is we need to have the handler so here we can say handler equal to new handler and make sure that you select this of android.os and after this we can say handler dot post new runnable and 
and here we need to write uh, the adapter for it okay guys so i will do that in our next part of the video so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you and goodbye